Today's recipe is for what I call a fiesta chicken bowl. It's kind of like a burrito bowl if you've ever been to a place like Chipotle where they put the rice and the beans and everything in there for you. So I had things laying around my pantry. I had some free cilantro lime rice I got from the store, some frozen peppers I had it from my garden, some taco seasoning I got a bought a deal with, and a couple cans of corn, tomatoes, and black beans. So what you do for this recipe is I make it all in the Instapot and you take your chicken and you cut it up into bite-sized pieces. So I just have thawed out chicken breast here. You can freeze this entire recipe if you choose and then you can put it in and you just cook it for a little longer. I'm doing it fresh today, so fresh chicken. Next step is to add in your taco seasoning. So I'm just adding in this one packet of taco seasoning and give it a good mix just to make sure that it's coated amongst all the chicken because that's really where you want a bulk of that flavoring to be is on the meat. Next you'll want to add a little bit of water because this device, this Instapot, requires a little bit of water to pressurize. So I'm adding in about maybe a half a cup of water into this mixture. From here on out you won't be stirring anything, you're just dumping. So here's about a half a cup or so of water. Here's my corn, I'm going to dump that in. This is actually corn from my garden so I'm pretty proud of the fact I was able to can some of that up this year. And then also for my garden, I had these peppers. I chopped them up and just threw them in the freezer in sort of individualized sized packets so I could just dump it into recipes like this. So that's red peppers, orange peppers, green peppers, whatever you have that's sort of a more mild pepper. If you want it to be a spicy dish, of course you could put in any kind of peppers. This is a can of petite diced tomatoes I had in my pantry. So I'm going to put that in. And you'll notice that I'm not going to drain it. We're going to let some of these liquids help with the process of the Instapot pressurizing. And then the last ingredient here is a can of black beans. You do want to rinse your black beans, so make sure when you open them that you take them to the sink, rinse them, shake them, rinse them, shake them a bunch, get some of that gooey sliminess out so that that texture isn't in your dish and then you can just dump those right on top. Now remember we're not going to mix anything. We're just going to take the top and place it right on top, twist to seal it and of course making sure that it's not uh, that it's on seal and not vent and then when these are fresh, I usually cook them for about 12 minutes. I did mention also that you could do this frozen, which I've done before. It tastes just as good, and I end up doing it for maybe more like 20 minutes, but just manual and 12 minutes for fresh. While I'm waiting for that to cook, I had a few little cherry tomatoes left from a veggie tray one tomato left from taco night and some lettuce as well. So that's again how we're using up some ingredients we already had, making sure we don't waste anything. So I'm just cutting those tomatoes up. These will be for garnishing whatever people like on their taco bowls basically. So we're doing today some tomatoes, some lettuce and avocados. When I'm cutting my avocados, I do like to use the knife to just pull that pit out and then I cut it, I slice it one direction and then the other to make cubes and either use a spoon to scoop it out or if they're really ripe like these ones, you can literally just sort of pinch together the outside of the avocado and it'll chunk them up nicely for you. So here our Instapot is done. I'm going to flip from sealed to venting and you'll see obviously a lot of the steam is coming out. And it's going to take a few minutes for that to depressurize. So we're just going to wait for that to get done. Make sure that you do turn off your Instapot. If you leave it on, it will just continue to heat and continue to create pressure and vent. Once it's totally depressurized, take off the top. Here's what it should look like. I'm giving it a stir to make sure everything is combined and then also checking for doneness on the chicken. The chicken basically is braising in this hot liquid, so it's going to be nice and tender. And this is going to be what you use for your topping. 
I mentioned I got these cilantro lime ready-made rice packets for free using Ibotta, so I'm going to use that for the bottom. Then I'm going to put some of that topping from the Instapot on, and then sprinkle in whatever I like, some avocado, sour cream, cheese, anything you like. I actually really like to use my tortilla chips to dip it and almost eat it like nachos. It's awesome. So I hope you give it a try and I hope you like it. Take care. Bye-bye.